So Charlotte, Spill, how was your first blind date? I don't know. It was my first one. What do you mean you don't know? Alexander is super cute and like really funny. I thought you'd have fun. It wasn't that. It's just that, I don't know. It wasn't how I expected my first blind date to go. Are you Charlotte? Uh, yeah. Why are you sitting in the booth behind me? Well, this is typically how these meetings go. I think we should be able to sit in the same booth. All right, then. You look a little bit different than how you were described. How so? I figured I shouldn't stand out. Oh, no. Looks don't matter much to me, really. You're still very attractive. Charlotte, please, keep this professional. Sorry, it's my first time. I'm not very good at it. It's not what I heard. I heard you were the best in the business. Still nerve-wracking. I can understand. I can barely bring myself to the exchange. Yeah, I guess you get used to it. I guess so. I'd like to ask you some questions before we continue. Get to know you a little better. Oh yeah, of course. Can I ask you some questions too? Yeah, of course. What would you like to know? Like, what's your favorite color? What? Why would you need to know that? Well, I'm trying to get to know you. I'd like to ask you some questions too. It was that or where are you from? Okay. Well, I'm from Nevada and my favorite color is blue. Blue! That's my favorite color too. And I'm from New York. So where you got your training? If by training you mean education, then yes. From kindergarten to high school. Kindergarten? Starting at the age of five? That's very young. You started at the age of 13 in Nevada. 13? Usually they start at 16, but my mind's fucked. You need fit. I thought I was advanced. Well, I wouldn't say I'm advanced, but whatever. Sorry, I got off track from the main task. What gun do you like to use? What? Guns? No, I don't I don't use guns. Oh, more medieval approach. I don't really use any weapons. You don't? Then how do you get the job done? You wanna talk about my job? Yes. Well, basically I just get a call from a customer and I do whatever they want me to. It's kinda like Yelp. That's not how I got in contact with you. Obviously. Well, this has been brilliant. I expect to get in touch with you soon. Really? You want to see me again? Yes. Well, you are you... qualified beyond compare. Do you need my number? Yeah, that would be okay. splendid. All right, my number is 513-896-6469. Splendid. I expect to hear from you very soon. Hello. This has been brilliant. Bye. And I haven't heard from him since. Well, of course not, silly. What do you mean, of course not, silly? Alexander, what are you doing? Charlotte, why haven't you killed her yet? I'm not killing anybody! That is what I hired you to do! Alexander, you have just proved that you cannot carry out my wishes. I asked you to find an assassin named Charlotte, but this isn't her. She doesn't even match the description I gave you. Now I must dispose of you. No, 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 Miss Court, please, no, I'm so sorry. This has been a mistake. I promise, Miss Court, this will never happen again. Everybody back up! What is going on? Ugh, I forgot you were here. I might have used you a little bit, Charlotte. This is my assistant, Alexander. Or he was, before he proved incompetent by meeting the wrong girl. This isn't the assassin. So I was never going on a blind date? That's what you're concerned about! Alexander, stay out of this! That? It was partly a date. I mean, there was a real Alexander there, but this is just the wrong one. Now I must terminate him. Terminate? Ugh, I told you my line of work can get messy. I thought you were a chef, not a mob boss! Beth, he's gone. That's fine, I can send someone else to get the job done. But what about that bounty on your head? What do you mean, bounty? Don't be silly, Bethany. That bounty on your head was too big to pass up. Wait, what? This is the last time you go behind my back. 